Hey guys, Croutman here, and with Nexa rocketing past Mars, halfway back to its all-time high, as you can see right here, I noticed a lot of people were looking at my old Nexa Pal guides. You know, I was kind of surprised, but then I did a quick Google search, and I realized that my How to Mine Nexa 2023 Update Dated Mining Guide is basically one of the first that comes up. So I clicked on it, because it's been a while, and I realized that it's about 10 months old, so I thought it would be time to update it. Now, you know, with the interest, with the price of Nexa going, you know, 300% in the last 30 days, and the hash rate going up too, uh, it's still a great time to mine Nexa, because the hash rate is, you know, still about 8 terahash under the all-time high, so profits are great right now, so it makes sense for a lot of people to mine it. You know, I have all my 3060 Ti's on it now, so I thought this would be a great time to update my Nexa Pal mining guide. One thing I want to mention before I move forward with this guide, remember, Nexa does not pay out right away. You have to wait seven days for the payment to mature on the network. Now, some pools may pay Nexa faster. Uh, I'm, as far as I'm aware right now, I do not think K1 is one of those pools. Uh, you can check other pools to see. Generally, whenever I mine Nexa, I usually do it when Nexa's price is going up. If you're in it for the long run, this shouldn't matter. But it is something I want you to know, and it is something I want to be transparent about with how Nexa works and the pool that I am heavily recommending, K1 pool. Like I said, I do not think they are pre currently prepaying Nexa, but I could be wrong. Uh, I will message them and I will try to get an update in a future video. So I just wanted to let you guys know before we get started. So the pool I use is K1 pool. As you can see, they have great great incentives to mine on K1 pool. 0% mining fee on Caspa. They add a lot of new coins. Like they have they had POW blocks right when I started mining it. They had Chlor AI they added. If you look, they have a ton of ETH hash coins, K heavy hash, Tedra, etc. And they have Nexapal. They have a great Nexapal pool. It's got a lot of hash on it. And some of the benefits of mining on K1 pool are basically as follows. You get one address for all your coins, so it makes switching pools and switching flight sheets in Hive super easy. Uh, they have a really, really good API uh, app that you can use. Dashboard is great. It basically shows you the profits you're making. Uh, this is just a quick about us on why you should mine with them. And it shows you your payout thresholds. You, it shows you how much you have pending, how much you've mined. It gives you all the information you can need. I frankly mine on KPool with every single uh, algo I can. It's fantastic. I can't recommend it enough. There, now to join, all you have to do is the following. You can go ahead and click on my referral link right here. You click on it. That's under any of my videos. And then you create an account and you go from there. Or you can just frankly go to k1pool.com and hit create an account. If you use my referral code, I get 0.1% of a percent of your mining income. It really, really helps me out. Uh, I would appreciate, you know, I appreciate anything you're willing to help me with, and all the proceeds go right back into the channel to help you guys. So the miner I use is Rigel Miner. So all my commands will be in Rigel Miner. I'll put a link on down below. And in Hive, you just select Rigel Miner when you go select the miner. Uh, I think it's the best miner to use. It's been it's been beyond stable, and I have no complaints. I basically use it for everything I possibly can. And he keeps up on the miners as well. He has a Discord, and he's easy to get a hold of. So I don't really think you can ask any more from a miner from a mining software developer than he gives you. So I use Rigel Miner for basically everything I can, and all my commands will be in it. So let's start off with the hive with the flight sheet. And now this is all in Hive OS. You can kind of fill in the blanks on Windows. I maybe will make a guide for Windows if anybody asks for it, but I don't mind in Windows and I don't really recommend it. Now, you can see here you put your addresses in. Now for K1, they will actually both be the same address. And you see the server I used, the Nexa K1 pool and the Zill K1 pool. Now you always want to mine Zill with Nexa. I don't care what anybody says. It's free money and anybody who passes up on free money, <laughs> I'm not going to say anything negative about them, but you, you get the hint. So you see there we have Rigel Miner. You want to set the algo to Nexapow. Uh, and you can just see all the configurations here. Now I will go into the rest of this in a second, but I just wanted to show you what the, the first page in Hive will look like. Okay, now here's when you open up the wallet, when you're doing the configuration. Uh, if you look on the left side, you see the hash algorithm, you have to select Nexapal, you know, wallet.worker name, and then you have your worker name, and then your pool URL, you wanna make sure those are all filled in, and you see my extra config parameters. Those are my overclocks, I'll go into those later. Now, on the left is the second coin. Do not forget the second coin or the miner won't work. You wanna select Zill, you do wallet.worker, I just did the wallet there. 
and then you want to do the worker name and the pool URL. It'll show the extra config arguments on the bottom. Just leave those there. You only mess with those on the first coin sheet. Now, I just want to explain a few things in my parameters. Uh, I will have these parameters copied down below, so you can just copy and paste them in your miner. I've sent these to quite a lot of people, and they've helped them a lot. Now, the first thing is one and the symbols, parentheses around it. That is for Nexa. So you want to use those, any of those are showing what I mined with Nexa. And on the left, on the right, you see anything with the two, that is Zill. Those are my Zillica settings. Now the first thing I want to go over with Nexa, pal, uh, you can update. Now my settings are designed to be the most efficient. I tried the max settings and they were using way too much power and they were honestly just making my GPUs not behave and they were crashing my rigs and making them unstable. So I dialed them back to the efficiency settings and I'm quite happy. If you want to increase your settings, you can do the, you can up the power level obviously, but the, the core clock lock and then the core clock offset will be what determine your next pal hash rate to get to get a lot more of it. You always want to leave your memory at negative five thousand. And then on the right, you like I've already talked about, um, you can see my Zill settings again. They're like Heath hash. These are the settings that I found that are the best for me for the majority of my thirty series cards. Although I may crank, I may crank up the memory clock a little bit more to try to get some more Zill. Uh, it honestly just depends. Now remember with Rigel Miner, the one thing you want to know is that you treat it like Windows, so you do not double the memory. So the memory clock is 1225. If that was be what you put in Windows, that would be what you put in Hive. So that's it, guys. It's a pretty straightforward guide. I just felt like this needed to be updated since a lot of people have been looking at it and I've been getting questions. I really hope this helps. Now, please like and subscribe to the channel if you wouldn't mind. I just crossed the 2K threshold, and I've got a lot of good crypto mining and non-crypto mining content, so I would really, really appreciate your support as I try to continue to grow this channel. And I have plenty more guides in the coming weeks as we're getting a lot more interest in crypto and these guides are you know pretty quick and painless to make so i can get these out for you guys thank you again for watching please like and subscribe crew man out